I'm excited. I don't know about you guys. Um, all right, just to start off uh, injury-wise, um, two guys that probably don't look great right now. We'll, we'll still take the time to look at them, but uh, Quandre Diggs with a foot and Lloyd with uh, an ankle of some sort. We'll get the imaging, but not real positive um, on those two at this point. Um, but man, what a what a what a definition of, of what we want our football team to look like and play like when things get tight. Um, tremendous amount of resilience. We finally got in a position where the way our team plays and the way that they go about their business actually got a chance to pay off for us, um, which was really great to see. I'm proud of those guys. Um, I love what we're made of in the locker room, and, and we finally played long enough, hard enough, and well enough um, to put ourselves in a position to win a game. It went a little longer than I was hoping for. Um, got an extra quarter of football in there, but, man, I'm just I'm proud of, of what those guys put out there and how hard they fought. We had a bunch of guys step up. Um, obviously, Corey Levin had to come in. Mike Brown had to come in. Um, those guys played a big role uh, in giving us a chance to win the football game. Um, you know, I thought we ran the ball in that overtime period. That was we, we, we imposed our will uh, in that overtime period, which was awesome to see. Um, running the football down there and, and taking up almost the entire overtime and not giving them much to work with on the back end. Uh, Tony Pollard, uh, just to point out, I mean, 154 total yards. Didn't practice once this week. Uh, he's everything. He's everything um, that, our, that our locker room is about. I'm um, proud of um, <clears throat> And then finally, we won the turnover battle. You know, we finally, finally found a way to get our hands on three footballs. We only turned it over once. Unfortunately, uh, we, had a, we had a shot to get a touchdown there, and uh, we turned that ball over. It got tipped up in the air. So uh, a lot of really good things, plenty of things to clean up, but, but I'd much rather be cleaning them up, feeling, feeling good about a win than, than after a loss. So it was just really good to see our team fight today. Just how badly did you guys need this today? I mean, look at me. <laughs> I needed it bad, man. It was, uh, yeah, we needed it. After they, they scored there on the last second play, and, and then also Mason with, with the fumble down there, you know, where you're starting to wonder, what's it going to take uh, to get this? Yeah, I mean, we just we knew we had to go answer. I think one of the things that we did in this game that was really good offensively is that when we, for the first time all year, when we got put in a hole, we fought back and answered. You know, every time we had a chance to, we answered. Um, and that was really good to see. And so we just knew we had to get ready, uh, get ready and go, go call and haul it. And I was going to lean on the running game to get us down there. And they did a great job uh, executing it, made a couple of throws that we needed. But um, it was just really good to see the, the finish that we had in that game and a with a chance to finish it. Uh, really proud of those guys. Is that anything different about the team that allowed for that finish to happen, for that follow through? Um, no, I just I think I think we've been working we've been working through it all year. Um, we talk about it all the time, uh, just the type of team that, that we want to be. And I think that's one of our strengths is the way our team fights, um, the physical nature that they play with, and we finally put ourselves in position um, to win a game. And really, what's happened pr prior to here is we've we've taken the game out of our hands um, and given it away, and we finally didn't do that. Um, and then this was the result, and it was just really good to see. When Arden makes plays, he's he's a difference maker. For so one, one more time. Yeah. That's huge. I mean, we we we've been around the quarterback a lot. Um, we finished on him occasionally. We got to finish on him more. Um, but the game-changing play is when you when you separate the quarterback from the ball, and um, those are huge. Those are huge, huge moments in games. Uh, we've been on the the opposite end of that a couple of times. Um, but to see Arden get the ball loose and get us uh, get his hits on the quarterback, he, he's playing at a really high level right now, and he's he's fighting as hard as anybody in there. And I, I got a lot of respect for how Arden goes about his business, the energy he plays with. Um, that was really really cool to see him come along here these last two weeks and be an impact for us. Right. You made it more so difficult. After your first win, and you, you weren't you have different emotions from that. What is it about this win that has you feeling the way you're feeling? Um, I think it's just the it's just it's everything that we want to be about. You know, just the the program itself, how we want to look, how our team looks. Um, we've had moments of really resilient play, um, but this was this was uh, a really, really um, resilient performance by our guys. You know, to go give up a ball at the last second of the, to, to tie the game and then have to go to overtime and um, then to respond. I thought we did a good job really for the first time all year of really complimenting each other uh, when something happened. You know, if something bad happened, we picked them up. If something didn't go right on offense, our defense picked us up. Our special teams played well. Um, those things were, were important for us, and, you know, I just think that, to see that happen and to see our, our guys play the way I know we're capable of playing um, was really good. Some of those things you gave yourself to have to overcome, particularly in the penalties department. Well, I feel like every time we got a good play, we got a penalty for something. I mean, it's like every time we score a touchdown, the ball comes back. It drives me insane. But, um, you know, yeah, we've, we've got to clean some of those things up. It's certainly, I mean, you can't, it's hard to sustain those. Um, but I felt like we've, every week, we got to overcome these huge plays that get called back, and it's just, it's killer. But um, we got to find ways to clean those up. Why not punt the ball out of bounds at the end of regulation? Say that one more time. Why not punt the ball out of bounds at the end of regulation? I mean, you've been having struggles covering at that point. Man. Yeah, I was, I was more concerned of, of, of trying to, you know, 
trying to hang the ball enough to go cover. Um, we'd like to get it more towards the sideline, but didn't get hit that way. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, those, those are all things that we were we were trying to get done in that moment. So, um, you know, just like any player, that there's sometimes where you don't execute at the at the level we need, and um, we did a decent job getting down there. But um, yeah, we we would like to pin him down there a little deeper and not let him get out. What does it say about Calvin Ridley continuing to kind of build on his play in the last two games? I know it didn't have. A lot of receptions early on, but down the stretch there, that huge play. In oh, that was an incredibly, incredibly difficult uh, third down conversion at a place where we needed it really badly, um, and that's that's what that's what we brought him in here for, you know. And and as receivers, you got to be patient. Sometimes the game doesn't come to you early. Uh, we had a couple things we tried to get it to him, get, get going, but um, you know. And then sometimes you have he had a drop or two that that would have helped us. Um, but at the end of the day, he was there when we needed him um, and made the plays when we needed to at the end of the game. And, and that's why you bring guys like that in so they can do that for you. And um, you know, that, was, that third down catch was, uh, you know, that was, that was probably just as critical as any play in the game. How, how, much, is, how, much, the, like how much is the uh, emergence of Calvin more so and, and also Nick kind of helped to stabilize the receiving core and maybe yeah. – allow you to do some things that you want to do in the past game now? Yeah, I just think those guys are playing well. You know, I think we're finding ways to get them the ball. Um, they're winning. They're getting open. That's the other part of it. They're doing a great job. Um, you know, Nick Nick is, Nick is just keeps making plays, man. He keeps finding ways to make plays. And um, he ran an unbelievable route in the red zone. And we had great protection and a chance to get all the way back to it. And I think he's, what, four, four, three for three, four for four, whatever it is, catching touchdowns. And, um, it's just he's, he's playing at a high level, and the two of those guys together playing at a high level with mixing in Tyler in there, doing what he does, um, it, it really helps our offense. And then, we, you know, we move the ball quite a bit. We came away empty, and two and five in the red zone is not great. Um, would have liked to have those points that we didn't get a chance to get. We had a few more on the board and maybe not make it as interesting, but um, those guys have really helped us move the ball. I think we're moving the ball really well right now offensively uh, overall. How, how, how gut-wrenching was it to see them score on the final play of regulation? How, how do you think Mason? You know, he, just like everybody, I mean, we knew I, I was sort of prepared for all circumstances. I didn't really – I just said, we'll wait to see what happens. You know, there's a lot that can happen in those uh, short seconds left, and then they were right down there with a chance. Uh, Mason came right over and just said, hey, man, just just call it and we'll go win it. I said, I'm right – I got you, man. We're going. And uh, and they, they did a great job executing. Can you what take you think us through the process of getting to that decision of where Rudolph was, was the starter? Because, you know, that yeah. was practice all week. Yeah, he practiced limited all week. Um, same process as the week before. Uh, with with Will through more through better felt better um, at the end of the day and then he got to the end of, you know got to the end of Thursday's practice didn't quite feel it still felt the fatigue from it a bit um, so he decided uh, after feedback from him and, and Todd um, we decided there's probably one more week would be best because when I go when he goes back in I don't want him coming out uh, for any reason so I want to make sure he's 100% ready to roll um, and I think we're getting real close to that so um, ultimately that was the that was the decision was just to make sure that. He felt just enough in practice. He's a lot better, but just wasn't quite ready to go play. And I want to be ready to go play fully when it's time to go. What do you think of Brunskill and the right tackle rotation? Uh, you know, it's hard for me to hard for me to end the post game without you know. There's a lot of things that go on in there, but um, you know, it sure seemed like they did a pretty good job. Um, all those guys in there, and they fought. And then you, you know, Corey Levin goes in there as well and, and plays plays well enough for us. So I, I'm sure there's plenty of things to clean up. Um, you know, we had the one sack on, on uh, I can't. I think maybe it was Leroy get, got the one sack. But, you know, other than that, I think our offensive line has really improved and doing a good job, and those guys keep stepping up. So, um, again, I'll have more critique for you maybe tomorrow. But uh, as of right now, I feel like it was, it was enough to win. What did it do well to get those two picks? And, and as you touched on earlier, how important it was to have that turnover ratio? Yeah, what was the first part? I didn't quite. Have, what, what did Hooker do well to get the two picks and how important? Oh, man. I mean, Hook's just, again, another guy that's just all about you know, what we want to be about. As a, he's, he's a pro. He was banged up all week, too. He fought through it. Um, another really impressive performance from him. Um, but he's just a really smart football player, you know, and he's got a good feel of his defense now, and he knows where to be. Um, they do a great job preparing back there um, with Mike Brown stepping in. Those guys, they practice together. You know, Mike practiced all week, really. Um, and so it was just good to see those guys communicate and be where they were supposed to be um, and, and eliminate a lot of those plays. They took a couple shots down the field, and uh, Amani seemed to be right where he was supposed to be every time. With Nick and, and how productive he's been making plays in the offense, I guess a pretty natural question is why has it taken so long to get him some of those opportunities? And I guess what did you see from him, his mentality throughout those yeah. times? He I mean, sure, that's a, that's, a, that's a fair question. You know, we just um, we had a good group of guys with Hop, and, and we thought we had a chance to uh, see what we can use Traylon for. And 
Um, that's how these things go during the season. And an opportunity came up for him to take a lot more reps. And uh, Nick does what it seems like he's always done here is when he gets an opportunity, he seizes it. And, and that's just what's happened. And he's, he's proved to be reliable. He's where he's supposed to be. Uh, the quarterback's like throwing to him because of his uh, consistency. Um, all those things are really important. Um, and then when he's, you know, the ball goes his way, he's made plays. You know? And that's, that's the name of the game in the NFL. If you, if you have an opportunity and you go in and make plays, um, that's really where, where you gain a lot of trust and confidence. And I, know I, trust, I trust Nick as much as anybody on our football team right now to go play football at the level required to win. And um, I love him for it. The one, the very last one. Um, yeah, I thought very, very seriously about it, and then we fumbled the snap, and um, then I didn't feel as good in that moment. But yeah, we thought about it. We were having a conversation in the moment, um, getting ready. We were, we were really essentially it was it, we were within side of one. We had a green light to go, and, and whether I decided to or not, I was working through that. Um, but at that point, as we taken all that clock down, uh, I was leaning heavily at that point. You know, after we fumbled the snap, that. You know, kicking the field goal and taking a lead uh, with that little time left and how our defense has played was probably the right thing. Um, but yeah, I certainly considered it. How about the earlier chance? I think it was f uh, it's fourth and three. three yards. Yeah, yeah, we we got to we were we were green light to go at two or less. Um, it was longer. It ended up being a full three. Um, and so at that point, I think that was to uh, take was it, what was that to go up ten seven. Just to take the lead after a long drive. There's sometimes those are deflating too when you you don't take the points. Um, and just again, this a lot of it was how our defense had played and, and hadn't given them much. So, um, but yeah, fourth and two would have been a go. We were at fourth and three, so I decided to kick it. Did you feel this, like this, you had to overcome some uh, some special teams miscues again, some some penalties, some big returns. Yeah, the penalty was was I, I didn't see the penalty. Um, it was on the sideline, the gunner, and, and I, I didn't think it was when I saw it. But again, they see it and call it. Um, you know, and then the you know they got the best returner in football right now, and, and I thought we did a pretty good job of bottling him up. He had you know a couple of returns that, that got yardage, but um, at the end of the day, it wasn't they weren't fatal, and um, we covered better today than we did last week. So we're looking for improvement. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, feels great. Um, just a celebration in the locker room, and um, just. Good to lift guys' spirits. We, we all needed that and um, got to keep stacking them, but we're going to enjoy this one. Might be a complicated answer, but why did you guys need it so bad? It seems like the consensus from everybody is that this was this huge emotional win. Why, why now did it feel so? Uh, you know, I mean, every win is big in this league, but, you know, we lost three in a row and, um, you know, at home in front of our fans, just just needed it, needed to turn the tide and um, make make work a little more. A little more uplifting and, and happy. So it's going to be a good week. Um, get, get guys some rest tomorrow and uh, get back at it, you know, Tuesday. What's the, what, was the, what was the conversation going into overtime knowing you were going to receive the ball first? What was the conversation with your team? Yeah, just um, talking with Callie about opening plays and, you know, how to move the ball. Do you like this? Do you like that? I thought we've, we've had a good, a good um, line of communication, you know, as, as long as I've been playing. And, he, he's open to my input, and uh, I appreciate that. And Cal made a couple nice, I mean, huge catches on the third down in between two defenders and strong catches. We ran the ball well, offensive line, controlled the ball. Had a new Corey, you know, Corey Levine, Corey Le Levin, rather, came in there and, and uh, did, his, did a great job. Talk about a guy got signed, like, middle of training camp. You know, he, he's been here and on and off the roster, on and off the practice squad, and he stepped up huge today when we needed him the most. Said just call the plays and we're going to score. Is that how you remember that conversation going? Yeah, I just said, I just you know because I, I could feel myself like after that, you know, their their touchdown on fourth down, like hey, it's time to reset, you know, uh, flush it, and it, it's a, it's a new game, and so I just um, kind of wanted to voice that to him and say, hey, listen, you know, it's a new game, we're going to go win this one, you know, don't worry about the, the past. What's the challenge in doing that with the rotating offensive line? And I mean, really trying to just incorporate different receivers uh, the past couple of weeks. Yeah. I mean, have you experienced that in your previous stops, or has that kind of been a new challenge for you? No. Uh, we, we've rotated quite a bit, and, and guys have stepped up. And I thought I was pretty darn well protected today. I, you know, those, those guys did an awesome job, not only running the ball, you know, opening up the holes for, for, for Tony and Julius, but protect. I mean, I think we had one sack. I mean, uh, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but um, so. It was awesome. You had Dan Brunskill's playing right guard. He had Corey, you know, Levin come in and play center, and Jo's and Leroy playing right tackle. You know, they both they all did good.
Coach Callahan, when he talked about this win, like he got choked up. Yeah. Was, was tearing up a little bit. Throughout the week, like did it seem like the win like the, the preparation or anything was a different meaning? Because he didn't get choked up after win one, but here he is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I think uh we he puts his heart and soul in this, and, and it's, everything's at first time for him. And, and it's, um, I can only imagine what he's got to juggle with calling plays and, and, and um, doing a good job at it. Calling plays and being present for the defense, situational on both sides of the ball. I mean, it, you know, he needs to, I think he needs to have a, he needs to have a cold one tonight to enjoy himself or just, you know, take the edge off because he, he, he's, it's a lot. I mean, I know there's other, you know, plenty of coaches that do that week in and week out, and I think he's done a, done a great job, but, but, it, um, it, it did mean more. What was, what was kind of the emotional roller coaster like for this when they score late? And, and how much can you not get caught up in that as a quarterback? Yeah, I just um, I just told the guys before we went out, like, you know, mental toughness right here is all that counts. And, and we're going to overcome this and we'll do it together and um, forget everything that's happened. And it's hard to do as human beings. You, 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 but I thought we, we all went out there with, with one goal in mind and Moved the ball, controlled the, you know, ran the clock, you know, couldn't be prouder of the guys. Do you see a result like this? Is it relieving for you and maybe the staff? Does it put any confidence in you guys? What, what, what do you kind of feel there? Yeah, huge. I mean, um, we've been in close games. I mean, that's been the story this year. We've been in close games and, you know, had a penalty here, you know, installed a drive or, you know, could have had a turnover on, you know, or, or a special teams miscue. You know, or, or, or an interception, uh, you know, on my part. So um, we overcome the couple of small mistakes we had. We fought through, we, you know, overtime wins. I've, never, I've been a part of an overtime tie, two ties. So that, that was awesome to uh, just the mental fortitude it takes it. And, and, and guys will remember that, and that's, that's a great experience. After you threw that touchdown in the fourth quarter, it seemed like you sprinted right over to Brian and the two of you kind of had a moment. Can you just yeah. kind of talk us through what happened? What happened yeah. Um, no, I mean, just – those are those are plays we talked about all week, and um, and uh, we, you know, we talk about that. We talked about that play a lot, whether we, where we'd like it, what yard line, and uh, we were both confident in it. And um, Nick Westbrook just crafty, sneaky, coming peeling out of the back of the end zone, and um, so it was. Uh, I mean, it's a great scheme, and we, I've been very impressed with the, the red zone. Um, schemes that he's that he's got in his repertoire. Tonight's scheme in this in this offense, it seems like even last week, but now in a win, feels like it's only gotten better and better over the past couple of weeks in, in terms of the operation of it. Is that something that you think just with time it was always going to happen, or is that something that you felt like has really clicked over the past couple of weeks? Yeah, I think I think um, it's a combination. I'd say like you know, first year in this offense, you know, there's there's probably going to you know there there have been growing pains. But um, you start to kind of, you know, whittle it down to what, what's our bread and butter, what do we do well, quick game, drop back, empty, play action, you know, red zone, third down, what do we like, what, you know, what, what's, what do we rep this week, what do the guys feel comfortable with. And that takes some time. And I, and I think, you know, across the board we made plays and um, I think we're starting to, to zone in on what, what we're good at and, and trying to run those plays more often. So we have one practice all week. Was hurt, and yet you yeah. guys come in, you hand it to him a whole bunch. What's the confidence like for this team and for you to be able to hand the ball to a guy like that, especially in overtime, and just let him yeah. work? He is a um, he is a, he is the, one of the toughest guys I've ever I've ever played with, and such a great um, countenance and, and a positive light that he brings to the locker room. And um, he, he's in there early, before anyone else, working on his body. And, you know, I, I, I told him, I said, uh, I think it was Saturday morning, I said, Tony was down in the locker room, I said, Tony, I said, my grandfather called me this morning, he said, hey, is Pollard playing? And I said, so are you playing? And, and uh, he said, I'm playing. So I, that, was, that was a good, good uh, pleasant surprise. That's good. Thanks, guys.